Hello once again, this is Mark Espy. We're taking a look at the CompQ, the NASDAQ Composite. And uh, I must remind everyone once again that this is for educational purposes only. Please do your own due diligence. Well, as is consistent with the other indexes that we've looked at, it was a quite a bearish week. You'll notice here we started with a spinning top, very narrow range, indecisive day on Monday. Then we gapped down significantly. Big down day on Tuesday, follow through day on Thursday, on Wednesday. On Thursday, we put in a hammer, a very close to being a classic hammer, just a little wick to the upside, and then once again, a spinning top showing indecision. You can see here again, it's hugging the lower uh, band of the Bollinger Bands, which indicates that it has just been pushing it uh, just about as quick as it could to the downside. This is certainly just a stone dropping out of the sky here. It's been quite bearish here the last couple weeks. <clears throat> if we continue down, several levels that I want to look at, but the first level that I want you to be aware of is that there are two Fibonacci retracement levels that coincide almost exactly at where we reside right now. There's a 50% uh, retracement at 2063, and then there's also a 61.8% retracement at 2061. That's fairly significant. If we break down below there, there's a swing low from November of 2009 to 2024. There's a swing low from August 2009 at 1930, and that also coincides with a gap that occurred uh, from late September to early October of 2008. If we break that area, then the next stop would be 1727, which is a swing low from July of 2009. If we end up going back up to the upside, which is what my thesis is, I feel that we're running out of gas to the downside. Um, I might be wrong, but I do feel that it's showing that it's uh, not willing to take it down a bit further than this and I want to respect those Fibonacci levels as well and it's consistent with my feeling about the other indexes as well. Today we put in um, not very much volume that is typical on a Friday in front of a three-day weekend so I don't take uh, much from that. Uh, that doesn't really tell me too much. If we do in fact go back up we need to contend with this gap here that's the initial area that we need to contend with. We also have this double bottom that resides here at about 2135. We need to contend with that. Then this gap. Then the swing high here from uh, June, mid-June. And that's at about uh, 2350. And then we come up here to this swing high, which is about 2435. And then finally the high from April at 2535. We had this shelf from back here in January. And that's at 23.25, and then we have the, the swing low, the spike low, and we put in the hammer and the bullish harami here in February 5th, and um, that was at 2100. The other thing that I want to point out here is, uh, again, we have the 50 simple moving average beginning to confer, converge upon the 200 simple moving average. And if we get a cross over there, that's going to be very significant, so we want to continue to watch that. The stochastics is crossing over in the oversold area, uh, which may bode for a move back up if it escalates beyond the 20. And the MACD continues to look like it has bearish momentum, and the histogram continues to move further away from the zero line. So my thesis this week is I've, I'm feeling that we're going to uh, slow down or begin to consolidate. It might move into a bear flag type of a situation uh, in consolidation, which is really a bearish continuation pattern. I'm hoping that uh, we're going to move back up because I really feel that that is we're much too much oversold right now. And there's some pretty good levels right here. So that is my feeling. So uh, I want to wish you guys a happy Independence Day, 4th of July. I also want to give a shout out to, the, to our military, uh, the men and the women that protect us, and the ultimate sacrifice that they put forth. And uh, let's celebrate this weekend, and let's celebrate those people and the people that have given their lives for our country in the past. Um, 
I will say to you in terms of the markets, uh, it, we're at an inflection point in my opinion. Uh, you need to remain hedged, I believe, if you have stock positions. And uh, be prudent. Uh, if you're um, too heavily uh, bullish, you probably need to get hedged somehow. Uh, maybe add some puts, maybe take off uh, some of your long positions, but you need to be prudent and you need to be nimble because it's quite a volatile market. Okay, I look forward to talking to you next week and I wish you good trading next week.